Hello, I would like to talk about our paper, Timing Black Boss Attack Crafting that Puzzle Example Choose Timing Leaks Against DNN on Embedded Devices. I'm Tsunoto Nakai of Mitsubishi Equity Corporation. This slide shows a quick overview of my talk. We focus on at base of example AEs. We introduce a fast attack to craft AEs that is based on differential processing time according to the input data. The problem is that crafting AEs needs training data, model architecture and parameter, substitute model, or model score. But our attack cracked AAs by using only processing time on DNN on embedded devices. Our contribution uh, we propose a novel blob of attack to cracked AAs by using sidechain weeks. We identify two relationships between the processing time and number of activated nodes, and between the number of activated nodes and AAs. And we clarify that cause of our attack by implementing a countermeasure to prevent the timing leaks. A is a small perturbation to the input data of a deep learning model for misclassification. A is uh, easy to exploit and have a large impact on the real world. For example, attaching a small sticker to the dollar sign as an AE. An automatic drawing system is misrecognized stop as a speed limiting. This table shows the taxonomy of crafting AEs. The methods are classified into white box attack and black box attack mainly. White box attack use trend model information such as the architecture and parameter of DNNs. The bus engineering countermeasure such as the model encryption protect the model information. The black box attacks use only input and output data of DNNs. From the viewpoint of attacker, black box attacks are more serious than white box attacks because of the attacker's knowledge but black box attacks are more difficult to craft effective AEs than white box attacks. In the black box attacks, the attacks using transparency can craft effective AEs. The attacks craft substitute model using the input and output data, and then do uh, white box attacks using the model information. But transparency depends on the kind of trend model and the trend model with deeper hidden layer have a robustness of transibility. The attacks using, using model score are also one of the black box attacks. The attacks focus on the changes of output probability. The confidence reduction countermeasure is effective to mask the output probability. The point is that crafting the AEs needs some model information. So our motivation is that can we get some information from Cytogen Rigs to craft AEs? Related work uses trained model information. Some works reveal the model architecture and parameter from cytogen rigs such as electromagnetic radiation on embedded devices. Especially, existing black box attack use output probability. Our approach is the black box attack using cytogen rigs. So, research question is that can attacker craft AEs using cytogen rigs if the output probability is masked? This slide shows the threat model. We focused on DNNs on embedded devices. The DNN on embedded devices are attracted interest because of distributed and real-time processing on site. An initial report mapping the asset and threat of AI node physical attacks to hardware. 
So in case of embedded devices, attackers can measure surgical information such as processing time. We assume two security functions for embedded devices, model encryption and confidence deduction. So the attackers measure to craft AEs by using the input data of travel and surgeon wakes. Finally, the attackers craft AEs on a target device and then input the AEs to output devices for misclassification. I'm explaining our approach to craft AEs using surgeon weeks. In related work, Bartina reported that some types of activation functions have differential processing times depending on the input data. For example, in case of a rel function, it is implemented like this source code. So, depending on the input data, the rel function indicates two cycles as differential processing time. When we defined TA is processing time when it is activated. TNA is processing time when it is non-activated. The TA is longer than TNA. Badina also showed the other activation functions such as sigmoid also have a data-dependent timing leaks. Now we can observe the change in the number of activated nodes on DNNs from the data-dependent timing leaks of activation functions. For example, in case of DNA with rel function, we can describe the processing time t according to the input data x1 and x2. Tx1 is 4ta plus 5tna plus alpha. Tx2 is 8ta plus 1tna plus alpha. According to timing weeks of rel function, Tx2 is longer than Tx1. So, the DNA with more activated node is more time consuming. I'm explaining that increasing the number of activated nodes affect the output data of DNN because of the increasing number of propagated values. For example, in case of a DNN, when the input data is x1 and x2, if the number of activated nodes increased, then the output probability of correct label is more affect than the output probability of fewer activated nodes. Next, we simulated the connection between the number of activated nodes and the output probability of correct labels. The simulation used a basic MMP model for MNIS dataset on a Linux OS computer. We focused on activation node in the first layer that is sensitive to input data of the model. We manipulated the number of the activation nodes. The simulation randomly derides the activation nodes with the activated value or non-activated value. This graph shows relationship between the change in the number of all layers activated nodes and the mean output probability of the correct level. The output probability decreases as the increase in the number of activated nodes. In the simulation, this graph shows the relationship between the change in the number of all layers activated nodes and the number of successful attack. It is a misclassification rate. The decrease in the output probability causes misclassification and increases the number of successful attack.
according to the simulation, we define two relationships between the processing time and number of activated nodes, and between the number of activated nodes and AEs. So the strategy of our tag is firstly we add a small perturbation to a part of input data, and then we measure the processing time of prediction. Finally, we craft AE with timing weeks. The AEs cause misclassification to other devices that have the same DNA model of a target device. We demonstrated our attack on MCUs. This figure shows the setup of our experiment. We used MicroTensor framework to replace DNA model on MCUs. And we deployed a basic MMP model for MNIST dataset and a CNN model for CIFAR10 dataset on two MCUs. This graph shows the histogram of successful attack to the MMP model on the MCU. The data shows the perturbation bound until the misclassification is caused. We compared with random noise under the same condition without the use of output probability. These graphs indicated that our attack tends to the cracked AEs with small perturbation compared with random noise. This graph showed histogram of successful attacks to the CNN model on the MCU. The data showed the perturbation bound until the misclassification is caused. We compared with random noise under the same condition without the use of output probability. These graphs also indicated that our attack tend to craft AEs with small perturbation to the CNN model. Next, we analyze the cause of our attack by using constant time against data dependence timing leaks. We assumed constant time to prevent the timing leaks dependent on the input data of activation function. So we improved activation function to consume the same processing time regardless of the input data. We deployed a countermeasure using the inline assembly code on the MCU. This graph showed the histogram of a successful attack to the MMP model on the MCU. The data showed the perturbation bound until the misclassification is caused. These graphs indicated that our attack tends to prevent the occurrence of timing weeks by the countermeasures. I'm discussing the limitations of our attack. The first one is activation function. This talk focuses on red function. The paper showed result of sigmoid function. Our attacks are successful. Our attack depends on the types and the implementation of activation function. The second one is other platforms such as GPU or TPU. We focused on MCUs. There are some neural network accelerators such as GPU or TPU. The paper showed the evaluation of Jetson NAND GPU and Coral Edge TPU. We cannot observe the timing leaks due to the parallelization of activation function on GPU and TPU. I'm concluding my talk. We propose a novel black box attack to crack the AEs by using differential processing time according to the input data on DNAs on embedded devices. We identify two relationships between the processing time and number of activated nodes and between the number of activated nodes and AEs. We demonstrated that 
our attack depends on the processing time on activation function. We clarify the cause of our attack by implementing a countermeasure using the activation function with constant time to prevent the timing weeks. Thank you for watching.